With the new league year on the horizon and Deontay Johnson's $3 million roster bonus about to kick in, it really is now or never for the Pittsburgh Steelers to trade DJ before the start of free agency. And today I'm going to be reacting to A to Z Sports' list of potential Deontay Johnson trade destinations. And then at the end of today's video, I actually got one of my own that uh, A to Z Sports doesn't mention that I think could be one of, if not the top trade destination for Deontay Johnson this offseason. Now, before we get into today's Deontay Johnson rumors, make sure you guys uh, get down there in the comments section and let me know, will Deontay Johnson get traded this offseason? Predict it for me to kick off today's show with a yes or a no. So personally, guys, I do think Deontay Johnson and a trade for him and trading him away is on the table. I've said it a number, time, a number of times on the show that I don't think he's a particularly great fit for Arthur Smith's offense. Artie usually likes guys that are bigger, that are better run blockers, uh, that are more involved in the run game, whereas Deontay is kind of a smaller guy, more of a true route runner. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. He's a great player. I'm just not sure if he is really Arthur Smith's cup of tea. And with just one year left on his contract and him not being super excited about Kenny Pickett being the Steelers' starting quarterback next year, it makes sense that now could be the time for him to go elsewhere. However, it does need to happen quickly, at least in my opinion. It has to happen by next Wednesday, March 13th. That is the start of the new league year, and when that date passes, and if Deontay Johnson is still on the team, a $3 million roster bonus kicks in for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So listen, if you trade him after that roster bonus kicks in, you're still going to be on the hook for $3 million against the cap next year because of that roster bonus. So I would say if I'm GM Omar Khan and I'm trying to move Deontay Johnson, I want to move him before that roster bonus kicks in by next Wednesday. So First thing I want to talk about before we go into the trade destinations and the trade ideas here is let's talk a little bit about what Deontay Johnson is worth on the trade market right now. Now, Andrew Filipponi says the reporter behind the Steelers' Deontay Johnson trade report, Tony Pauline, on, on the fan says, I think the Steelers would trade Deontay Johnson for a third rounder. So that seems to be the trade value for Deontay right now, whether you agree with it or not. I know some people would say he's worth a first round pick. Some people would be like, he's worth a second. Well, it seems like right now he's worth a third round pick, and that's what the Steelers are hoping to get out of him. And listen, man, I could see Deontay net a second round pick, especially if it's later in the second round, but you have to take into account he's only got one year left on his deal. He's had some behavior issues in the past. He's had some drop issues in the past. And these teams, for these teams, man, draft picks are straight up gold. They don't want to give them up, especially on day one or day two. That's rounds one through three. They really cherish those picks and they don't give them up lightly. So even for a guy like Deontay Johnson, who's a really good wide receiver, uh, I, I, I don't think you're going to be seeing like a first round pick traded for Deontay Johnson this offseason. Now, let's say you guys, let me know down there in the comments, would you trade Deontay Johnson for a third round pick? Is that something that you're willing to do? Type T if you would accept that trade offer or type P if you think a third rounder is too low and you'd rather keep Deontay Johnson. So now let's talk some destinations for Deontay uh, here from A to Z Sports. They name three of them here. So let's get into the first one, which is the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Jerry Jones, their owner, has said that the Cowboys are going, quote unquote, all in for the 2024 season. Okay, so keep this in mind. All right, they have C.D. Lamb, who, in my opinion, should have won Offensive Player of the Year last year. He was absolutely unbelievable. But other than that, I mean, it's kind of shaky. This is what Rob Gregson, the author from A to C Sports, had to say about it. With Michael Gallup unable to live up to his contract post-injury, he is likely to be a post-June 1st release, allocating nearly $10 million in cap savings for Dallas. That leaves Brandon Cooks and Jalen Tolbert as the top two options behind C.D. Lamb. So if Dallas could scoop up Johnson for a rumored third-round pick, he gives them a proven second option with one year left on his deal to align with Dallas's quote-unquote all-in mantra, even if their recent actions speak louder than their words. Okay, so my thoughts on this potential idea, guys, is I don't think that this is something that the Dallas Cowboys would probably do. I know they trade for Brandon Cooks last year, uh, but is this really a move that screams Jerry Jones to me? 
it really doesn't. Now, who knows? They are claiming to go, quote-unquote, all in this offseason. So would they be willing to give up a, tra- a, a, a draft pick of some sort to go get Deontay Johnson? Maybe, but call me skeptical, at least right now. So still to come, I got my number one Deontay Johnson trade destination to share with you guys. But before we get into that, I want to tell you about today's sponsor at Mando Whole Body Deodorant. Listen, fellas, I don't have to tell you that warmer weather leads to funkier crotch smell, but don't worry. All you have to do to say goodbye to your stink is is grab some Mando Whole Body Deodorant and nip body odor in the butt. Put it on your pits or your package or your feet even and beyond for whole body freshness. From the makers of Lumi Deodorant, Mando is clinically proven to work hard for you all day. And instead of just covering up your BO with heavy fragrances like most deodorant companies, Mando stops odor at the source, stopping the stink from happening in the first place. Spring into the season with a deodorant that can handle the heat. And for our Steelers Talk listeners here, new customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code and link. Use code CHAT at shopmando.com. It's right down there in the bottom of your screen. And guys, it's more than just deodorant, all right? They got stuff like body wash. I got some of their bourbon leather body wash right here that I've been trying out for the last couple of weeks due to our promotion with Mando, and it's absolutely fantastic, man. It smells super masculine, super fresh. I look forward to the morning shower every single day because of the way this stuff smells, and then it smells like that all day long. And listen, I was always smelling pretty fresh, guys, but some of the guys at the chat sports office definitely weren't. Ever since our office switched to Mando, things have changed for the better. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers because it comes with a solid stick of deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice. You could get one of the body washes if you want, plus free shipping. Again, new customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code, and that $5 off equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you use code CHAT at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. It's time to smell better naked, and trust me, your partner is going to thank you too. Thank you to Mando Whole Body Deodorant for sponsoring today's edition of Steelers Talk. Then we get to the second Deontay Johnson trade destination here, which is the New Orleans Saints. And this one was a little bit interesting to me. This is what Gregson had to say about potentially sending DJ to New Orleans. While the Saints have a proven playmaker and what will be a third-year wide receiver, Chris Olave, the cupboard is awfully bare behind him with Michael Thomas's contract structured as though he is a free agent, leaving only A.T. Perry as the other wide receiver under contract for the upcoming season. Johnson could replace Thomas as the route runner and underneath merchant of of the wide receiver room as Olave is used over the intermediate and deep parts of the field with Perry as the ball winner over the top. Now listen, I will say this when it comes to the Saints, it's probably not going to happen, all right? Because if we're going to assume that Johnson is worth a third-round pick and nothing higher, the Saints have no picks in rounds three or four, all right? So if the Saints really want Deontay, they have to give up their second-round pick, and I really don't think that's something they're going to be willing to do because, I, I honestly, I think they might trade down from that second round spot so they can get more picks in the middle rounds. I don't think they're going to be giving up another one of their draft picks for a guy like Deontay Johnson, even though he can definitely help out their team. I don't think it really makes sense in terms of the draft capital that they have right now. Then we get to the third destination that A to Z Sports has for Deontay Johnson, and I like this one, the Arizona Cardinals. Okay, obviously second year under Jonathan Gannon, their head coach, Marquise Hollywood-Brown, he's leaving all these different things. Let's look at what Gregson has to say about the Arizona Cardinals. With Marquise Hollywood Brown slated to hit free agency, the Cardinals wide receiver room is one of the least proven in the league, hence the common mock of Marvin Harrison Jr. uh, or, or a different rookie wide receiver to the team at number four. But even then, the team would lack a tenured weapon on the perimeter, something they will need if they want to go all in around Kyler Murray, making Deontay Johnson an enticing Option. Now, we already said that the New Orleans Saints don't have any third or fourth round picks, but you look at the third round picks here, Dallas is number 87, you know, I guess that's okay, but then you look at the Cardinals here, and they've got three third round picks, and you're telling me that they wouldn't want to give up one of these picks 
for a guy like Deontay Johnson who can be a get-open guy for Kyler Murray right away on the other side of Marvin Harrison Jr. If I'm Jonathan Gannon and I'm trying to win as fast as possible, I'm giving up one of these third-round picks for Deontay Johnson. So because of all these third-round picks at their disposal, watch out for Arizona because I think they're an interesting option here with a lot of draft capital. They do need a veteran receiver in their room moving forward. And I think Deontay Johnson is an excellent fit. Now before I go into my number one Deontay Johnson trade destination here, Go ahead, click that thumbs up icon if you are a real one. You watch our shows, you support the channel, all these different things. You watch the live shows, all that great stuff. I want to see who the real ones are down there right now. Click that thumbs up icon to let me know. Then my number one Deontay Johnson destination is the Chicago Bears, all right? And the reason for this is a couple of reasons, okay? So number one, I do think that you could just trade Deontay Johnson for a draft pick, right? And then number two, you could use Deontay Johnson as a potential trade chip for Justin Fields, okay? Omar Khan, the Steelers GM, and Ryan Poles, the Bears GM, they have a working trade relationship that has existed ever since Omar Khan took the job. They traded Chase Claypool away to Chicago last year at the trade deadline. They were in talks for Jalen Johnson all the way up to the deadline. And now apparently, according to the reports, they've been in talks for Justin Fields fields to potentially be sent to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So obviously these two men know each other well, and apparently, according to the reports, Chicago wants Deontay Johnson. So it seems like if Deontay's going to get dealt anywhere, the most likely option, at least to me, is the Chicago Bears. So let's go over these two options here. Let's go with the number one trade idea here, which is just for a pick. All right, let's just say no Justin Fields. They're sticking with Pickett, but they want to unload Deontay, and the Bears are willing to give us a third-round pick for his services. I think that would be a fair compensation there. You can get a wide receiver in the middle rounds. There's lots of great wide receiver talent in this year's NFL draft. Deontay goes to a new home with likely Caleb Williams throwing him the football alongside DJ Moore and maybe another receiver. I mean, that'd be a great home for Deontay if you want to kind of do right by him. But then another thing that you could do here, and if you want Justin Fields, you could use Deontay Johnson as a trade piece in a potential deal to make Justin Fields the new franchise quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So if you want to do this route, you could add Deontay Johnson and then just tack on one of the, one of the fourth round picks you have this year. You have two of them this year, back to back. Okay, so you could, get, you could give one of those to Chicago and Deontay Johnson in exchange for Justin Fields. And I definitely think this is something that Ryan Poles, the, G the Bears GM, would consider, especially because the trade market for Justin Fields isn't all that great right now. So let me know down there in the comments section, which trade idea do you prefer here? Do you rather to just get a draft pick from Chicago in the third round, or would you rather go out and get the quarterback in Justin Fields uh, and, and give up an additional fourth round pick in order to get him in the building? Type one or two for which trade package you prefer. Let me know down there in the comments section. That'll be it for today's show, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now because if Deontay Johnson gets traded, guys, in the next couple of days, we're going to be going live with a video for you guys. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now to never miss a moment on the Pittsburgh Steelers.